It is Paul, Dr. Nacho here with the JFO, Just Find Out, key resource and sponsor. Two of my favorite people, Dr. Carl Conner, Dr. Andrew, they're going to share with us how adding extractions to your practice toolkit is the perfect thing to do for these P words during a pandemic to help patients and increase production. Welcome to talk, Talking Nachos, Dr. Carl and Dr. Andrew. Share with us for a minute who you guys are and how you help dentists. Well, so I'll start first, Andrew, and then you. Um, so we're both general dentists, but we only do oral surgery. I've done it for like 20 years or so, and Andrew for the last six. We've both been professors in oral surgery at dental schools. We are passionate about it. We have a lot of good ideas. They're evidence-based. It's not just, you know, what works. It's, it's what works for a reason. And uh, so we like doing this. Andrew, what do you have to say? Um, everything you just said, uh, I would add to that, that uh, what I do as a general dentist is entirely oral surgery. So I have a traveling surgical and sedation practice, but I'm also very passionate about educating general dentists on how to up their skill level and increase the services in oral surgery for their practices. And I, I want to share, I've been really passionate about, and I, would found, I was very lucky to learn how to do implants 2002 to 2005. And anything you teach your GP, you can teach them how to do some, most, or all. And that's, I think, the goal of learning. You know, you're doing no extractions, find out a way to do some. If you're doing some, try to do most. And maybe you don't always do all unless you focus on it. Because I do want to say, I feel bad for you guys. You know, your lives must be tough. So you don't, you, you don't get to adjust a denture or have a class two ring fly off while you're doing a tooth or a hygiene check. Do you miss that, Dr. Andrew? Do you feel like there's a void in your life because that's not there? No, it's, it's oh, wonderful yeah. to be able yeah. to focus on one thing and do it as, you know, at the highest level possible. And I think, and I, you know, I'm being facetious, unless someone does miss, you know, denture adjustments, I, we can help you. But, um, you know, adding these one things can add up to a lot of good things. Focusing on more one things, you know, uh, focusing on extracting teeth and preserving bone, focusing on placing simple implants, fo focusing on even sleep apnea. So uh, you guys do a lot of teaching and now we're in a pandemic. We've had to move virtually. Carl, share with us your why, why you teach this and some of the things that you guys can offer to the dental not just community. I know you also brought some case examples with you. Well, I was just going to say, I was teaching at the dental school earlier this week and I, I know not having been there for a while and I noticed that the students are doing, you know, fewer surgical extractions. And it's not just because COVID, it's just because of the school, they don't emphasize that as much anymore. And I said, hey, why is that? And the, the uh, head of the department said, well, surgical extractions are not CODA mandated. And oh, it's like a, a, another language to me. I mean, yeah. what does that mean? Well, there's certain things you have to teach in dental school, certain things you don't have to teach. And that's something you don't have to teach. So it's up, up to the school. Some will do it, some won't. And I, I thought, hey, we're going the wrong direction. For you know, sure. we'll be doing a lot more of that. So I think that's one reason. I mean, that gives us confidence and strength to do even more teaching because the schools are, are doing less. So uh, we've got four different main areas that we'll maybe touch on today. But, you know, and you were talking about if you do more of something, you get better at it. But a general dentist doesn't really have to limit himself to or herself to surgery. With some of our techniques, we can help them more quickly get to where they want to be right. to do cases faster and better, fewer complications. So th that's what it's all about. You know, we'll help jumpstart them to efficiency and competency. I like that. Jumpstart to efficiency. That's great. And also, I mean, I, we've talked and you're going to share with me. I mean, the whole point of life making decisions is to identify what is easy, what is medium, what is hard, whether it's extractions or driving through traffic or picking <laughs> out something else. It's always that. So you guys do a great job with that. Um, I know you brought some case examples to share. Is now a good time for Ariel to bring some of those up? Uh, yeah, yeah, Perfect. That's, that's great. See what she uh, has there. Um, awesome. So uh, let me talk about this one and I'll have Andrew talk about the next one. So this just shows the main things we do. So the one that is highlighted there is, is one that used to be in person and as of late, it's online, but it's hands-on. So it's so cool to be able to talk about the things and, and interact with people on Zoom and have them uh, see a video and then say, we, we say, do it just like we did uh, on the video or, or right there. 
Yeah. And uh, so then, then we look in their camera, they, they point their camera to the, what they did. And we say, well, yeah, Hey, that's awesome. You did a great job or the angle could have been a little better or, you know, so that that's a fun course. That's our basic. And course. I want to pause Carl. Cause I teach a lot of C2. I've taken a lot of C I've learned. And I just really want to compliment you. I actually was talking with my friend from England. You can tag him, Ariel, Dr. Jason Smithson, because he teaches a lot of composite stuff. And I said, you should do what Carl and Andrew um, are doing because uh, this is dentists. You can sit, they're sitting in their own operatory, right? Right, exactly. I mean, what do you like better? I like my couch and my operatory. I'm very comfortable on both, you know, and it's like you can sit in your own operatory. So what I think you guys have done, and I really want to share at this point, I want in person to see you come back. I really, it's important for dentists to talk face to face, but when this is over or we move past it, I think what you've done here is awesome because they can use their own hand pieces and instruments to do this. Is that correct? Yes. And if they have an electric motor, like, like an implant motor with a, with a straight hand piece, they could do it in their living room or in their kitchen too. Oh, nice. That's, that's really, that's really awesome. Yeah. So this is the two day online hands-on model workshop, just workshop. That's going to be September 18th and 19th. Uh, that's that's right. coming up. Gotcha. That's right. And we'll drop a link in there. And I know you have a nacho uh, deal for us, which we appreciate. That's so true. Uh, we're just beta testing something where after that course, they can do a one-on-one -on -one with Andrew or me, where we'll take an hour or so just with them personally. And the, and the cost, and then we'll just go over cases or we'll go over questions and the cost of that but they have to have taken this first. The cost gotcha. is like the cost of one extraction. Yeah, I mean, that's so valuable. What I want to encourage dentists to do, some people, I like to kindly annoy them into good ideas. Sometimes my wife just regular annoy, but I like to think it's kindly annoy. Do this, you learn the skills to use forever. Your ROI is not just production, it's happiness, it's confidence, it's being able to help patients. And I know from being in my office this week, while I'm so collaborative and working with specialists, whether it's in-house, whether it's outside the office, things have just gotten into a molasses mode of trying to go to another office. So if you, could, if you have 10 extractions and you can take care of four of them, there's just something that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. There's something that's priceless about being able to do that, especially during this pandemic time. Let me quickly just mention the other three. The one on the left is live patient treatment. And the one on the right is uh, eight hours online where it's just didactic online if that's what they want. Awesome. And then, then the one on the far right is what Andrew is going to mention, and that is where we take a hard tooth, like a lower first molar that's bombed out at the bone or, or divergent roots, and maybe a hard upper first molar or a long canine, and we dissect that, no pun intended, but we go step by step exactly what if this happens, what if that goes wrong, and we just do it in, in, in detail. Awesome. Tell me more about that, Andrew, and this webinar you guys have com coming up on August uh, 24th, 25th here. So let's go, yeah, to, the so next, let's go to the next image. Is, Ariel, you can uh, go one pass for them. Perfect. What we're going to do is go through the step-by-steps required to remove a difficult lower molar. So, you know, dental school does a great job of teaching routine extractions, but you know, how many times is a molar turned into a surgical extraction? 70% of the time, yeah. maybe even 80% of the time. And then there are other complications that arise from that as well. So we're gonna go through um, the procedure of performing a surgical extraction once things turn difficult, when that crown breaks off, um, when you don't have access to much tooth structure, and it's chipping and chipping and chipping, and you just don't know what to do. So we're gonna spend 90 minutes going through sort of the recipe of how you take on that surgical extraction. I call it this, and you guys can use this for your marketing, how to take out a molar that's been mushified, because that tooth is mushified, right? How do you take out a mushified molar? You can use that. And I think, you know, what's the cost to join this webinar uh, August 24th and 25th or August 25th? Well, you know, we, we have a special deal right now in the, in, in the first place, but then we have a, an extra special one for nachos people. It's, it's 165, you know, and then there's a discount for nachos. That's awesome. So use the nacho discount. You will not regret sitting down, learning from people who do this all the time, how to do this so you can do more, some, most. I mean, the ability to learn something like this, and I will share with you, I'm someone who talks about practice management, clinical, talking to patients, 
These are the procedures that people need to have done acutely right now. This is not chronic, it's acute. So if you're looking to stay in business, as we all do, just wanna let you know, you cannot help any patients if your office goes out of business, zero patients. You can't offer it in your living room, so you gotta keep your office in business. So when people come in with these problems that are acute, whether it's a pandemic, where the economy is great, where the economy is good. I mean, Andrew, you, we, have an oral sur we have a GP-focused oral surgeon like yourself come into our practice, and maybe just for a, a minute, how are your case, I mean, I'm assuming your cases planned by the general dentist office are people who really don't have a choice whether to get, you know, the treatment or not, you know, is, is that accurate? Well, uh, I mostly function out of private practices. So yeah. the option usually is given to the patient to go out to an oral surgeon or to stay in house. And I'll tell you, patients do not like to be referred out. They yeah. love to stay with their general practice, with their dentist. And even though they don't know me, they've never met me before. Um, there's just a lot of comfort for them to stay yeah. in the practice. It's in the same place. And what I want to point out, though, too, is like that doesn't mean general dentists start extracting impacted wisdom teeth because of this. It just means start your journey of a little bit more. Maybe you're yeah. taking out one tooth a month, turn into three, turn into six, and still collaborate with your oral surgeon. I will share this from a practice management perspective. We've had in-house specialists since I started in 2005. So when you have one and then you need to refer someone out, they need a higher level of sedation. It's beyond your skill set. It's not the right day. You're able to talk about it in a more confident way the more you do in your office. So, so we have the August 25th webinar. We have the September 18th, 19th two-day um, course. Ariel will share the links here, but just for this video, because this could go viral and get like a million views. That's what I'm hoping for, Carl and Andrew. Us, look at us. We're very entertaining. Share on the video how people, what website they can go to or who they can call to find out more about this. Which, which settle for 500,000? Okay, good. Yeah, that's, that, uh, that's our baseline goal. <laughs> All right. No, we love being here with you uh, every once in a while and sharing these things. And, and we, you know, that 165 for doing these, that, that'll probably have to go up, you know, to help us meet our overhead better after COVID. But we, we think we owe it to the profession to make it reasonable, really low cost at this time. I love that. And, and our dentists like a deal. What is the website where they can find out more about this just so we have it on the video and or any phone numbers they can call? Well, and so we've simplified our website. That first image right before this one, that is our go homepage. Go back to there, Ariel. Perfect. Let's put that up for everyone to see before we jump off. We go back. To that perfect. is our homepage. And it goes from there into we have other things. We have third molar uh, situations where you can go watch somebody do third molars all day or have someone go to your office and do third molars in, you op in your office with you, um, you know, watching or doing. So there's more stuff, but this is our homepage. This is our basic um, menu, if you will, of what we have. I love it, menu. And this is kernercenter.com. Is that Kerner the website? Kernercenter.com. Kernercenter.com. There's the phone number. Start your journey. Become more aware of how extractions can help everyone in the office, the patients, the team, and you. During this incredibly annoying pandemic, embrace something that patients need. You can help them and get the training here from the comfort of your own couch. So I appreciate it very much, guys. Thanks for being awesome Nacho Key Resources and Sponsors. Uh, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Thanks.